Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Bros, and today we're going to be talking about To the Public by William Lloyd Garrison. Now, before I go into this topic, please remember to give a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So, what's going on here um, in this work by William Lloyd Garrison? Basically, William Lloyd Garrison is talking about um, abolition. Um, you know, he wants an immediate, an immediate... Um, abolition of slaves in America at the time, um, and he wants full citizenship. He wants um, enslaved people to have full rights, full abilities, uh, and he wants them to be freed. And he's he's not settling for gradualism. He's not settling for, you know, a slow process of allowing, you know, former slaves to be a part of the U.S. Um, he wants an immediate, <clears throat> he wants an immediate um, abolition, um, he wants immediate freedom, um, he wants them to be integrated, uh, within American society, and he talks about, you know, if you're in a burning house, do you want to be rescued immediately, or do you want to be rescued gradually, that's what it boils down to, he's like, if you're, if you're in the burning house, if you're a mother, and you have your kids inside of a burning house, you know, you're not gonna take your time, you're not gonna slowly turn the door handle, you're not gonna, slowly bash the door down to save your kids you're gonna break it down like the incredible hulk and save your children in the same way he's saying you know for for black people for slave and slave people uh at the time uh he wants an immediate um um you know you know abolition uh immediate freedom immediate you know full integration uh and the country was not happy about this this kind of this this really put a fire underneath um, the butts of abolitionists, uh, making it very simple here. Um, this, this editorial, this work by, um, William Lloyd Garrison, um, is all about, listen, I want change. I want radical change. I want it to happen now. I, I want it to happen now. Uh, and there's nothing that's stopping me. Um, there's urgency. Um, there is, you know, we want to work hard. We want to do this now. Uh, and, um, basically, no, a lot of um, Southerners, white Southerners, uh, were against this paper, this pub the publishing of these ideas, uh, because it galvanized people to put an end to slavery. Um, a, a lot of things put an end to slavery, but um, works like this, people, abolitionists like this, like William Lloyd Garrison, uh, they really um, put the fire of urgency uh, underneath the country um, to get this done. Um, and so... You know, he refers to the Declaration of Independence. He, you know, within this work, um, you know, the Declaration of Independence is brought in. Um, you know, unalienable rights for all mankind is brought in. Um, the American Revolution is brought in. You know, we need freedom. We want freedom. Uh, the same way, you know, Americans wanted freedom uh, in the American Revolution. That's all. Those ideas are all brought in here to kind of say, hey, the same way that we wanted freedom from Britain, the same way that we want free, we want rights, is the same way that black people, enslaved people want freedom and rights uh, from their uh, masters. Uh, so that's all brought in here. Uh, this whole work, um, it's, it's, you know, to the public, this whole work is uh, really, uh, it uses strong language. Um, Garrison here, uh, he uses um, strong language, um, like like very um, tough, and, and you know I I want this done. Here here's um, this is not like if you can, if you may, uh, if the country wants to. This is like we want this and we want this now. I want this. I want this now uh, because we're in a burning house and the fire is coming. Um, and so there's a lot of critiquing of America, American beliefs and policies within this work. Uh, you know, to say that, you know, Americans, they say that they stand for um, equal rights and, and all men are created equal. But are, are, is America really demonstrating this by the way that they're treating uh, enslaved people? And again, uh, if, we're if we're looking at uh, white uh, people within, within this time period, you're looking at westward expansion, you're looking at developing the land, uh, the American um, territory, uh, you're looking at manifest destiny, you need slaves, you need, this is just looking from the point of view of the white people at the time, uh, they needed free labor, because it's free, it's cheap, uh, you can expand your country, uh, and so, and you can make lots of money, 
Um, it always goes back to the money. I always say follow the money where where the money is. The, the white people, they didn't just want to want slaves. It's not just because they didn't want to have slaves. Maybe some of them just wanted slaves. But let's just be honest. They were making money, all right? It always comes down to money. Um, you know, they were making money. The slaves were profitable. They were putting money in their pockets. People were getting rich off of slaves. Um, so they didn't want to let go of their slaves because it was making them money. Um, you know, if something is making you money... It's not, it's not the slaves that you don't want to let go of. It's the money that you're making that you don't want to let go of. Um, I always say, if any business, any venture, um, always look at the money. Um, the, the humans are very simple. They love money, okay? Uh, greedy humans, humans of all kind, no matter what the race, they love money. So, um, yeah, that that's why honestly, that's why the southerners didn't want to let go of the slaves. We can we can say about we can bring up ethics and morality and and all you know religion and all that kind of stuff and doing the right thing. Uh, but if there was no money in it from the get go, there would be no slavery. All right, I, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you that uh, if there was no money in it, uh, there would be no slavery. Uh, it's because there was lots of money in it. Um, and so, um, that's you know to the public. Um, that's William Lloyd Garrison's pretty much truth. Um, you know, it's pretty angry. Um, it really galvanized people. Uh, and um, he ultimately says that, you know, posterity, um, when he says posterity, he's talking about the future generations uh, will prove him right, will vindicate, uh, you know, his the, the injustice um, that, that's been done to black people. And they will see the truth and set them free and give them equal rights. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, um, and so, uh, William Lloyd Garrison, he was right about, uh, al uh, um, you know, the abolitionists, uh, and, um, and yeah, ultimately what he wanted happened. And here we are in 2023. Um, so yeah, that's what it's about to the public. Uh, he's writing it to America, to black people, um, to free the slaves, give them equal rights. You know, he's, he opposes gradualism, uh, colonialism, you know, any type of, of, any type of thing that stands against immediate, immediate, urgent abolitionists, uh, the abolition, um, you know, the freedom of black people uh, and um, giving them rights and citizenship. So anything that opposes that, the, the immediate imp um, implementation of that, uh, William, William Lloyd Garrison was against it. So that's my summary analysis. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.